CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Members of the Greater Victoria Transit Commission are furious tonight. They are accusing BC Transit of trying to provoke its union to escalate job action. A simmering labor dispute of BC Transit has disrupted transit service for weeks now. And at the heart of it is a new shuttle bus that the union does not want to see on the road. But that is exactly where it was today. CTV Stephen Andrew reports. It's called the vicinity bus. But the Canadian Auto Workers Union wants it nowhere near the vicinity of Greater Victoria. Labor negotiations between BC Transit and its union are at a standstill. This 39 passenger bus is the one bump in the road. The union claims Transit wants to bring in the buses in order to use drivers with lower class licenses who would be paid less. The objective is to deliver outstanding service to the customers. So when management of BC Transit parked the bus right in the middle of that dispute, showing it off for media, some members of the Transit Commission became incensed. Having this bus here today, I would argue, is in fact interfering with the collective bargaining by having it here in a way to try to persuade people of its benefits. I, I disagree. I think one of the things here, uh, we had a very short window to bring this bus in. If we had brought it into Victoria, the media would have been all over it. And for us to try to hide it, would have been totally inappropriate. Transit says it brought the bus back to Victoria after more than two years testing in other markets to dispel rumors the bus is unsafe. The company also disagrees with criticism. Drivers on the new bus receive less training. We have 60 different routes for the larger routes and we do 18 days. We have 15 routes for the smaller buses and we do nine days. I'd almost argue that you're getting more training on the smaller than on a per day basis than you are in the so bigger. So how is it that the operators are insisting that the training program is radically different? Why is that? Uh, no, I, I think you should be clear. It's the union saying that it's not the operators. The union is furious the bus is back. It calls the move a publicity stunt that is sure to escalate job action. Sandage's mayor is outraged. He wants the board of BC Transit to rein in management. It's totally inappropriate. Why would management provoke uh, the union and put our customers at risk? And it appears the labor unrest is about to get even worse. On CFAX 1070 this morning, BC Transit's president says an overtime ban by mechanics is affecting the number of buses on the road and he is considering layoffs. So. We have drivers that are sitting there without a vehicle. So if that, how long are you prepared to let that continue? Well, not, uh, I mean, I think we're going to have to take an assessment of how long can we sustain uh, the operation as we have And when to are you going to do that? Well, we're doing that right now. Ashadina says if a solution isn't found soon, drivers could receive layoff notices in about three weeks. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Victoria.